at the end of the last episode, we've been working on the tiller, the gallows, the companionway dropboard retainers, and the tabernacle. As it's going to be a while until I order some acrylic drop boards, I thought I'd make some temporary ones out of plywood to keep the worst of the weather out of the cabin. It was a bit tricky to cut the curve on the top drop board, but at least I'll be able to use this as a template when I come to cut the acrylic ones later on. I sanded around the companionway, ready to stick on the drop board retainers. Then I was able to move on to making the spars. I had to stick some pieces of wood together to get long enough lengths to create the sides of the mast and also for the boom. I did this using scarf joints, which I cut at a 10 to 1 angle and stuck these together using thickened epoxy resin. Now at this stage I can assure you that there's nothing illegal going on in my shed. In fact the smoke is from the circular saw blade that had got quite blunt whilst cutting the scarf joints and I only realised how smoky it had got in there when I stepped outside and saw the smoke pouring out of the doorway. The moral of this story is, if your shed gets smoky then it's probably time to buy a new saw blade. Following this, I use the timber thicknesser to get the sides of the mast down to three quarters of an inch thick and to get them nice and smooth as well. You can see it was a bit tricky working with 16 foot lengths of timber. After getting the sides of the mast down to thickness, I was able to mark them out. Because the back of the mast is straight, but the sides and the front of the mast all have a taper. And once I cut the gradual curves out, I had to cut rebates onto two of the sides of the mast so that the whole assembly would fit together. Here we are having a trial fit, and you can see I've cut solid blocks to fit in the bottom and the top of the mast. Then it was time to cover all these pieces in epoxy resin and stick it all together. Last of all I sanded down the mast to get the sides flush and used the router to round off the edges. And here's the fully assembled mast in the only place I have space to keep it, that's under the roof of the garage. Mm -hmm. 